All right, guys, it's Ozzy Grimm with the Gamers Grimm, and we are back in Starfield today with another shit build. Today, I want to unveil one of my favorite builds so far, the Minimax Pro. There is such an obsession with building tiny ships in this game that as a guy who really likes big, giant ships, I wanted to see how much I could squeeze into a tiny, tiny Class C cargo freighter ship and this is what I came up with the mini max pro it's got almost 8500 cargo it's got a massive cockpit it's got eight halves and everything else under the sun that you can think of in a ship and it's all squeezed into a footprint the size of 24 meters by 18 meters so I uh, I really enjoyed trying to figure out how I could make this ship work get it just right it is a space trucker's dream i think it's just about everything you could want in a class c ship all right herp derp i am back guys <laughs> i thought that my mic was muted i was like did i just film that intro with no mic that's just great but back to it this is a class c ship and it is tiny like i said it is only 24 meters by 18 meters i really don't think that you could make a fully loaded Class C ship any smaller than the Minimax Pro is. So let's head inside and take a look at the layout of this ship. This is exactly what every space trucker could ever, ever want. Of course, we're going to come in here to an engineering bay. That will take us up. Oh, that will take us up to the uh, halves. But we'll go down here, and this will take us up into our big, lovely cockpit. And here's where you will come in. And we'll go to the back here. And of course, here on the lower deck, we have a nice captain's quarters or officer's quarters for getting in and out of the pilot seat. And then over here, we have a computer bay to buff your crew. The crew count on this ship is eight. So you can have max crew in the Mini Max Pro. And then we will head up to what I call the mid deck. I can't make this second jump very good. So we're gonna go ahead and go up the ladder. But here we are at the mid deck. The mid deck, we have the crew quarters, of course, which leads to the front. And we have a medic station or infirmary for all your medical needs while traveling the stars. We'll head to the back to the other side, the starboard side, which allows us to have a few more crew quarters as well as a workshop for the crew to do their work. And then, of course, the upper deck, which is I, what I call the VIP deck. This is where all your uh, passengers and traders will be while you're ferrying them across the stars up here in the VIP deck of the Minimax Pro, complete with a lovely view as you travel. So let's head back down to the first deck, try not to break our legs on the way down, and head up to our very spacious and very comfortable cockpit up here to accommodate you and all your crew and we'll take the mini max pro up in to space i really enjoyed this build guys it was super fun to try to figure out how to squeeze as much class c ship into the smallest footprint that i could i really i wish i didn't need the gears on the side i think they look good but I could have trimmed this down to another 15 meters if I, if I didn't have all the gear requirements that I do. But we wanted to get this as a max stat cargo ship squeezed into a tiny, tiny footprint. Like I said, this has got max speed, max cargo, and max performance. Nothing is in the red in this ship. But uh, you could always go in another direction if you really wanted to. We'll get into the... Uh, photo mode into the orbital camera so you can see the Mini Max Pro as it flies. She's not much to look at, but I think for uh, the needs of a space trucker, she probably looks like the best ship in the stars right now. So that is, of course, the Mini Max Pro, guys. Um, I will now switch over to the ship builder and we'll tear it down piece by piece so you can see how I laid this ship out. All right, guys, we're back here in the ship builder, and I've got the Minimax Pro pulled up here. This is not a super complex build. It's just very compact, and everything needs to go in its place. So 
As you can see, it has 1574 hull, 1450 shield, 8380 cargo, 8 crew, with a jump range of 30 light years, 100 mobility, and 130 speed. So it is a max speed class C ship. And as you can see, it's only in a 24 meter by 18 meter footprint. So it's about as small as a class C ship that you can make without sacrificing anything. So let's pull off some of these cosmetic items. These are some uh, no Hope Tech nose ports that I've got here on the front, as uh, well as some of these porthole fours on the front here as well. So, and I don't have a lot of windows because, well, I don't, the maximum mass that you can get with these six engines is 4275 mass. After that, you will start to lose mobility. So bear that in mind. But uh, we'll keep pulling things apart. Not a lot in the way of weapon systems, but this is a cargo hauler. You just need a little something to defend yourself with. I, of course, went with the Vanguard Obliterators. Uh, best weapon in the game, hands down, if you really enjoy shooting at things in the stars. And we'll take off those weapon mounts. And then I got a couple hidden right here, as you can see, underneath this uh, cowl, or underneath this hab. Uh, a neat little way to sort of sneak things in here is with these Hope Tech riser A's that I have. So we'll pull those out. And uh, I think that really is about it for decorations, guys. There wasn't a lot of room to add any frivolous or unnecessary components to this ship at all. But we will go into some of these structural pieces. Um, these are Hope Tech Riser A's, obviously, and there's uh, quite a few of those. I think there's nine on this ship. Really good for being able to squeeze some of these cockpits into some of these hidden spaces. And uh, they kind of look cool, very utilitarian. So we got that going for us. And they're in there. And as you can see, I've hidden all of my goodies down under here. That's why it's got a, it's almost a four story ship, but that's where they're hidden. So um, then there's these structural pieces here, two Stroud mid bracers at the front. Uh, I don't really think you could want, would be able to add anything of any relevance to the front here, but you need something to, of course, attach your gears to. But we do have a lot of cargo. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these Galleon S202 cargo holds on the top here, just like that. And then down here in the back, I have some more cargo uh, snuck in under the engines here, the 100cm ballast cargo holds just under the engines. So lots of cargo on this ship. And uh, it's that quick. We got down to the meat and potatoes of this ship. There's really not much else to it. Lots of gear. It's going to take four of these NG-15 landing gears. You could opt for one of the other landing gears. I just thought that they kind of matched the silhouette on the outside of the ship here better than some of the others. And then, of course, across the bottom, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these uh, pinpoint 4G landing gears from Tayo along the bottom. And tucked neatly between them is where I hid my 500T helium-3 gas tank. And uh, that gas tank will be, of course, fueling the best uh, engines in the game. The SAL 6830s, you get these from a quest in Neon. Just make sure you do a good job on that quest. And here are our HABs. We have one, two, uh, three, four and then five and six of these two by ones. However, down here, I used the Tayo tops because the reason you choose Tayo tops down here is because they run along the side of the, uh, the engineering bay or the three by one that you would use in the middle here. And if you use the tops, it will always choose the most optimal path and the most optimal path would have been through the side. So if I would used a Hope Tech hab, then there would have been a door here rather than coming up and going around the back through all of these companion ways down here. So that's where those Tayo top halves and uh, bottom halves can come in real handy is when you are trying to prevent 
uh, doors from being in places that you don't want them. So as I said, this here is a three by one uh, engineering bay. You could optimally put something else here like uh, the Dimos has a living quarters that you could put here. I just happen to like the idea of the engineering bay being like the basement part of the ship. So up here, of course, we do have those uh, other two by ones that I used on the mid deck. And then here on the top deck, we have a Demos living quarters, just like we were saying down there. And on top of that, we have the Vanguard bulwark shield and tucked neatly in here. We have our SGD 3300 grav drive along with our pinch E8Z reactor from Zhang. On top of our uh, engineering bay, we of course have this really lovely Contiki B500 bridge. Great crew stations, great space, good cargo. And then here is where the, uh, the bulk of your layout comes from. It's going to come from these uh, companion ways of which you will need one, two, three, four, five, and six. And on the very top, we popped a Hope Tech a Slim Docker. You could alternatively put uh, the other docker up here if you really wanted to. It, it wouldn't really have much of a bearing, I suppose. It would make your ship a little bit taller and a little bit goofier looking. But that would be how you lay out your ship from the very beginning. Uh, with, of course, the Hope Tech landing bay going up into the center of the engineering bay. And uh, if you work backwards from that, you will see how you can make your very own Mini Max Pro. This was such a fun ship to build, guys. I really wanted to see how small I could make a Class C ship. And there may be a way to make it smaller, but lose performance, lose cargo. Uh, this is about as small as a Class C cargo ship could get, I think. And, and I like it. I, 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 I think the name is fitting. It is a space trucker's dream. And I hope all the space truckers out there uh, enjoy making their own Mini Max Pro and uh, jet setting through the stars. So this has been Ozzy Grimm with the Gamers Grimm. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>